on the season finale of Terriers Take 5. The show must row on. How is the season going for the men's rowing team? The women's rowing team is closing in on the finish line. How are the Terriers prepping for the conference championship? And before we go forward, we have to look back. What a year it was for BU during the 2013-14 campaign. Rewind the celebrations. Terriers Take 5 starts right now. Welcome everyone to Terriers Take 5, I'm Brian Moore. As we conclude our show for the year, we'll try to pack a year's worth of memories into a five minute show. But before that, we begin here out on the water with the men's and women's rowing teams. The Terriers are hoping to be the final teams in competition this season with the IRA championship still to come in late May. As someone who's been in the varsity for uh, three years now, this is the most athletic boat that we've been in. I think uh, in my four years here, this is the best team we have overall, and just the varsity eight as a whole is really coming together as a great unit, and just looking forward to seeing how much speed we can get out of the boat. The varsity eight boat, coxed by Justin Rao and stroked by Matt McGinnis, have had huge wins, including a nine-second win over Syracuse, a 13-second margin over Dartmouth, and a six-second victory over the Badgers. Where we are now in the season, time-wise, it, it looks really good, uh, just in terms of the way we rode. We've had a great spring, really picked up a lot of speed as the season's going on. Guys have been working really hard, staying focused, getting faster every day, and really working to develop boat speed as we build to the sprints and IRAs. The Terriers will now look ahead to the Eastern Sprints on May 18th, followed by the IRA Championships in West Windsor, New Jersey, the last weekend in May. Well, we're looking for the Patriot League Championship to be our best set of races this spring. The women's rowing team is in a postseason state of mind as the Terriers will compete in the conference championships in Worcester, Massachusetts. The reigning CAA champion Terriers will attempt to claim a new title with the change of conference. Um, the Patriot League is, is pretty awesome because there's so many teams in it, so we actually have a race of heats and finals. We need to race twice, and that's something that we, we set up the season so we would be sharp for that and we would be used to racing multiple times. And, and so fitness-wise, we're ready for that. After a regular season in which BU defeated Rutgers, Rhode Island, Buffalo, and won seven of ten races against conference foe Bucknell, those accomplishments are coming in second to a conference title. We think the best way to sharpen up is just to try and really, no matter who's out there, get ahead. No party, no cake. Here on Terriers Take 5, we say goodbye the only way we know how, by showing you the best of the best from BU Athletics this year. Athletes and fans were welcomed to the 2013-14 season with a new look. It started on Babcock Street with the brand new state-of-the-art New Balance Field. Sally Starr and the field hockey team finally had a place to call their own. The Terriers were officially welcomed into the Patriot League on July 1st, and the first Patriot League championship in school history went to the women's cross-country team on November 2nd. The Terriers ran away with the Patriot League throughout the season, winning both the women's indoor and outdoor track titles by season's end. Nancy Feldman and the women's soccer team followed with their first Patriot League title and sixth straight conference championship in eligible years. In October, new men's ice hockey head coach David Quinn was welcomed by Section 118 on October 10th as the Terriers defeated UMass 3-1 to give Quinn his first career win as a head coach. However, the most important win of the early season came on November 30th at Madison Square Garden when BU upended number 14 Cornell for their third red-hot hockey win to remain undefeated and capture the Kelly Harkness Cup. In March, the men's basketball team won their first regular season title since 2004 and was one win shy of matching the program record, winning 24 games en route to hosting the program's first-ever NIT game at Aganis Arena. Sarah LaFour scored 32 goals to lead the nation and helped the Terrier women's ice hockey team upset Boston College to take their third straight hockey's championship and advance to the NCAA tournament for the fifth consecutive season. Rich Peters set two program records in consecutive weeks, breaking his own mile time at 357, and he also broke the NCAA record in the 1,000-meter run. On the women's side, Monica Adler also qualified for the NCAA championship in the mile run. Stephanie Nassen broke her own school records in the pool, resetting the standard in the 500-meter freestyle and the 1650-meter freestyle, all in her first appearance at the NCAA Swimming and Diving Championships. 
The BU men's lacrosse team debuted as a Division I program on February 8th at Mercer. The history book was officially marked when the Terriers notched the program's first victory, a 12-7 win over Lafayette. The women's tennis team claimed the Patriot League title, knocking off Army 4-1 to take the program's 23rd conference title. And most recently, the softball team won their first Patriot League title over Bucknell to earn their 10th conference title and 7th trip to the NCAA tournament. All of the Terriers will have a lifetime of memories, and I congratulate the entire Terrier senior class of 2014. But that will do it for us here on Terriers Take 5 for the season. Thank you all for your support all season long, and we look forward to a new beginning in September. For all the BU news, check out The Athletic's website at GoTerriers.com. For our editor, David Valbuena, producer, Leo Pare, and the entire Terrier family, I'm Brian Moore saying those three little words we all love to hear, let's go BU.